2K. I just paused and I didn't even realize this shit. Y'all ain't shit. Look at Poole and look at Draymond. Nigga, 2K, y'all ain't shit, bro. Baluba, Baluba, I ain't gonna lie, Baluba, you've been putting in overtime this year. So, look, first off, I want to start the video off again. Put a round of applause for you, Baluba, look. No cap. Because he been working OT this year. Look, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to start the video off with this double H tweet, right? Because, no cap. This is exactly, look, I haven't looked at none of the 2K news. This video gonna be all the 2K news that we done got up until to, to, to 1.52 in the afternoon central time on the 15th but look double h said respectfully y'all need to for the first couple weeks when it comes to complaining about 2k24 gameplay wait until you get your badges find your jump shots in your six and get your overall look bro if the game comes out bro and defense is overpowered bro do not go crying to mike wing about how you need to increase the speed of the dribbling. You need to add more dribble moves. You need to do this, that, and the third, bro. No, play the game. Get better at the game. The game just came out. You feel what I'm saying? Look, I'm telling you, because I already see it now, bro. I haven't looked at none of the news, but what I can see, what I done heard, what I done seen from the little tweet, from the little tweet bubble, bro. Defense is going to be OP. I ain't going to cap. Defense probably going to be OP. We, I think we've all figured that out. I think defense, if it's not OP, it's going to be a level better than it's been the last couple of years. So, bro, guards going to have struggle, trouble scoring, bro. That's cool, bro. You, you got to get better, get in the lab, and shoot. At some point, you're going to figure it out, bro. Some, some, glitch, some glitchy move is going to be figured out, bro. Somebody going to break the game. Just keep playing the game. But look, Baluba. Let's see, bro. Let's see what you got for us, Baluba. Because look. All right. You said shit kind of crazy. 23 is hope, but 23 is the worst 2K I've ever played. Hands down. Hands down, the worst 2K I've ever played. Without a doubt. But, okay. First thing Baluba said paint defense was a major focus and was reported as the biggest gameplay improvement from my external play, ses play test sessions. I think we have a really good balance right now. Ooh, that sound good. What, what did the dude ask? Has there been a buff in paint different side? Been putting a post where I'm in a good position for a slot respectfully. Okay. So Baluba, we respond to the he's responded to the community. Okay, cool. Since layup timing is important better this year, will there be an option to just have a layup meter on? Yeah. Lots of new controller settings this year. Separate toggles for shots, layups, free throws, as well as controls type, pro stick button. You can also reposition and resize about every on screen element. Shot meter, player indicator, fatigue part. Oh, so if I want to put my shot meter like right by my hand, like, OK, if I was to put a meter on, I put my meter like at my shoulder and I don't make it big as hell. Oh, that's tough. OK, I like this. I like this. OK, Baluba, is there any changes to the shot contest system? This contest system has changed a lot. The main highlights greater emphasis on the body. On the body position instead of just hand location. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mike Wayne, Mike Wayne, Mike Wayne. Mike Wayne. You ain't do this. You ain't. Y'all ain't fixed the shot contest. That's been a problem forever. And shit, probably since 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 2K15, 2K14. The shot contest system been a problem. Okay. The main highlights, greater emphasis on body position instead of hand location. Big reason for the ghost contest complaints last year. Heavier penalties for being crowded at the start of the shot. Less for out of position, late closeouts. Okay, as it should be. If you're a good shooter. If you're a good shooter, you shouldn't, you're not phased by a late contest. If you're a good shooter, if you contest me as I'm getting into my upward motion, then that's different. Then that's going to probably affect my jumper more than... I'm already at the peak of my jumper and you're just now jumping at me. I'm nine times out of ten already gonna hit the shot. Okay, I like that. Let's see, let's see the comments on this one. I wanna see what people are saying. So that means the center one Superman jump from the elbow to the corner and get a 29% red on me. Well, it depends. Cause to an extent, I mean a 29% don't really make too too much sense, but like if his wingspan is long as you're a little guard, his wingspan is long. I could see from the elbow. I don't know. It depends because some some of the jumps be a little crazy. But okay, let's see what else Baluba said. 
Our green animation is gonna pop up every time, and when I green, is it gonna switch more consistent? Yes, you'll get your shot celebration animation on every green outside of 15 feet. Okay, I'm cool with that. 15 feet, because 15 feet is about the about the free throw line, a little bit above the free throw line. So that's cool. That's basically all of. Okay, so basically all of the long middies in your threes, you won't get a jump shot animation. I'm cool with that. Okay, generally all advanced shot types. Spin step back, it's got a buff in the mid range and all advanced layups. Euro for got a buff too. Try to mix up your arsenal scoring moves and you'll be rewarded. Ooh, fade's got a buff in the mid range and a big nerf at the three. Oh, I'm going back to my play style. I'm going back to 19. I'm going back to exactly how I played in 19, bro. Oh, I'm making a shot creating sharpshooter, bro. I'm making, I'm making exactly because look, that's exactly what they said between. They said between 19 and 20, Fade's got a nerf at the three. You can still fade at the three. It's just you might have to wait till you get take. You might have to wait until, you know what I'm saying? You ain't get, you, you're a little hot, bro. Like, I get it, bro. Fade, fading, fading from the three isn't going to be, it's not going to be like every play. Like the way you could fade, you can fade. You can get seven threes up on this game in 22, straight fading threes. You feel what I'm saying? Like no quick stop, no, like no straight fades. So, okay cool i like that i like that a big nerf at the three i likes that okay will the signature movement styles be available in my career on 24 yes and pro play is giving us a ton more i think we're up from 2k 23s 37 so about 156 now oh oh hey i gotta watch the pro where's the pro play trailer at oh it might be right here actually it might be right here okay cool we spent a lot of time on this. Okay, wait, it's how is drawing fouls and wreck? Is there emphasis on the skill or can you purposely do it or not? We spent a lot of time on this and it's way better. If you fake and get the defender to bite, you can draw a foul and get and ones way more reliably. Also, if blockers jump wildly for no reason, they're land on ball handlers and call for fouls. Oh, so okay, so they kind of got like the the protect the player rules. You know how you can't jump the Kawhi Leonard, the Zaza Batuya rule. Okay, I like that. But you can draw fouls though. Like I can pump fake, jump into my defender and shoot it and get the oh like the Austin Reeves. I ain't got a lot of Austin Reeves. I ain't got a lot. You ain't obviously invent that, but Austin Reeves definitely done been doing his thing. Okay, let's watch this video right here though. Mike Wayne talks about dribbling. Let's see. Let's see, bro. Mike Wayne talking about dribbling. Let's see, Mike Wayne. How the dribbling talk about, man? Do I need to get back in my bag, bro? Do I need to get back in my bag, Mike Lane? Talk to me, talk to me, Mike Lane. Talk to me, Mike. Talk to me, Mike. Shooting has been customized and improved for all various modes, difficulties, and player skill levels. But in order to get high percentage shots, you need to know how to create separation off the dribble. Thanks. One of my favorite elements in NBA 2K24 is the dribble breakdowns. Mm -hmm. Each player has two versions. Regular breakdowns are done by flicking up on the right analog stick, and aggressive breakdowns are done by flicking up with sprint held. This will initiate a sequence of signature size up moves that you can use to create separation with on their own or branch out of at any time for an explosive drive or other double move combo. Okay, so that's that's like similar to what it is now because you press up on the stick and you get your little you get your little cross, you, you hold R2 and press up. You If you had Westbrook moving crossover, you get the Westbrook crossover. It seems like they just changed it just a little bit. You said, hell no, what you mean, Don? What you, what you talking about, bro? There's all new signature double crosses, hezzy crosses, and escape moves. Another major addition Ooh, is the- so you trying to tell me I'm about to get to, so I can actually cross, cross, run, hezzy, bring it back, and pull up. And, okay, so I don't know, bro, 2K. Y'all getting this too hype. Am I too hype for this shit, y'all? Tapping the sprint trigger while moving will give you a quick burst of speed where the ball handler pushes the ball ahead to get out quickly on the break. Oh, so like, okay. So say I'm running up the court, holding R2, and my player's sprinting up the court, and then I tap it and then tap it again. My player gets like a, like, you know how like Westbrook, like Westbrook running the ball up the court, of course he's pushing it, and then he get that extra little, uh, and he gone. Oh. Hold on, Mike Wade. Hold on. In the front court, tapping sprint will give you a quick change of pace to quickly. Oh. Yo. 
so okay so it seems like you gonna really have to get in that lab nah you guards don't be mad that you can't fade nigga you gonna have to really learn how to dribble now that's what i said what did i say i said this in one of my videos i said bro 2k will be tough when you have to learn the game again bro when you, you you don't get on call it you don't get on valorant bro you don't get on csgo and be good off the rip there's no game like that nigga. every game you actually have to get better at the game and actually put in time 2k bro i can give my little cousin my 6 8 build give him the day to learn the game and i promise you by the end of the day he's gonna be busting niggas ass bro with that 6 8 build with a 88 driving dunk 89 three ball 89 ball handle and a 95 and 95 still bro he's gonna be whooping ass with that build bro but valorant bro i could probably get, let him play valorant all day he probably still won't be nice by the end of the day because valorant is not you're not gonna be good in a day on valorant you can be good in a, in a day on 2k simple but man quickly on the break in the front court tapping sprint will give you a quick change of pace to quickly blow by defenders. Oh. Adrenaline boosts are back, but have been redesigned to make both offense and defense more skill-based. Okay, how so? On offense, boosts are no longer lost when pulling off dribble combos or moving short distances. This gives dribblers much more freedom to create off the bounce. But boosts will disappear every time the on-ball defender can bump the ball handler on a drive attempt. Losing mm. adrenaline won't feel like moving in mud like last year, but it will heavily impact shooting attributes. So if a mm. defender can bump the dribbler two or three times in a single possession, they'll have a really tough time scoring if they do manage to get free. Okay. So basically, y'all rewarding defense, right, 2K? Because if a nigga's adrenaline is gone, his shooting boost, his shooting attribute should be lower, right, 2K? So if, if I'm bump, 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 you out of adrenaline. Yes, you're not gonna be like okay when you out of adrenaline this year you're dead. Like you can, I can tell when a guard's out of adrenaline. His player move mad slow. You can't dribble like nothing. I can tell when you out of adrenaline. This year they basically saying you might not really be able to tell for real. Like as in your player's just moving hella slow, but you're gonna tell because if he does somehow get open, a he's not gonna angle fade you because <laughs> he can't angle fade this year, and b. He's going to have to, oh, bro, what? He said, imagine ankle breaker works and not going to lie. W said, my nigga, I might just get the game so you could play guard, bro. Dom, I ain't going to lie. If you get the game, make an inside, bro. I already see it. This, Bro, Dom, if you get the game, make an inside. I'm making my 6'4 shot creating sharp, bro. I'm playing just like how I played in 19. Irritating, bro. I'm playing. I'm fading. I'm fading middies. It's crazy because, bro, everybody need mama going to be playing like this this year. Though. Everybody going to claim they fade. At the midi now, bro, I've been doing this shit since I've started playing in 19, nigga. Bro, my whole gameplay came from Zuli and God Chiller, bro. Straight fading middies, my nigga. On me. Fading middies. Fading middies, spin shots, hop shots, side steps, step backs. Bro, everything, bro. Bro, 19, bro, it's crazy. I stopped playing like that because that's not really how the game was set up for real. But, bro, I ain't gonna lie. You said I'm making a popper, bro. This game not gonna be made for poppers, bro. I promise you, bro. Do what you want. You do what you want when you popping, bro. But I see it. it's gonna be an inside game, bro. It's gonna be this game gonna be an inside. It's gonna be an inside based game, bro. Hall of Fame brick wall and shit. It's gonna be because guard, bro. Guards not gonna be fading threes and shit, bro. So now they gonna how do you get a three? How does a guard get a three up if they're not fading? They use screens. <laughs> They use screens, bro, because all of these fake little ISO... I'm telling you, all you fake-ass ISO niggas, bro, I've never been no ISO player, bro. I proudly admit that shit. I've never been no ISO motherfucker, bro. On the threes, from time to time, yes. On the twos, from time to time, yes. But my whole play style is not no ISO play style. I'm telling you, all of these fake ISO niggas that been ISO in the last two years because ISO been OP, you niggas is going to go right back to using screens, bro. I promise you, bro. Because niggas not going to be able to fake... You, niggas... Bro, niggas only was ISOing because they could fade a three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or they could just get right by you and, and limitless take off from the from the free throw line. Now you can't limitless take off from the free throw line. You can't fade. You can't angle fade me left and right. What you going to do? You're going to call for a screen up top. And you're going you're gonna, to, uh, uh, Trey Young, pull back, Trey Young, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I'm telling you, bro, watch. Bro, I'm telling you, everybody gonna use screens this year, Donald. I see it now, bro. Because I'm gonna use screens. <laughs> nigga, I'm gonna say it right now. Nigga, I'm gonna use screens. <laughs> nigga, I'm using them bitches. Now, I ain't in court right now. D, I'm gonna finish this video. I promise you I'm using screens, bro. I'm, I'm calling it now, bro. I'm not I'm not making it harder on myself, bro. So I'm not, bro. I'm not finna, nigga. I ain't never been no ISO player, bro. I never been, bro. Always been behind screens, nigga. The fuck? That's why I'm finna do the same shit. <laughs> Everything about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra-realistic gameplay in NBA 2K24. Ooh. We getting money, yo, AOD, bro. I appreciate the sub, man. I appreciate the love, my boy. Real talk, bro. Appreciate you, my dog. Appreciate the ten months, man. That's tough, bro. Ten months, that's hard body, my boy. Real talk. Appreciate that shit, dog. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? But look. Let's 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 see what else, let's see what uh Mike Wayne what else Mike Wayne got for us, man. All right, so your opponents and teammates won't see your shot meter online in twenty four. My advice is to turn off the shot meter as soon as you learn your timing. Shot meter off increases your green window size by twenty percent. Yo, twenty percent, damn. Welcome to the DBE family. I'm dead. For the layup and dunk meters, if you have a pretty open lane, the green window is much bigger on twenty four, but it shrinks. Fast, the heavier traffic, and again, on Hall of Fame and competitive online, you have to green dunks to make them. Oh my God, two K. Yes, bro, green or miss for dunks too. Thank you. Variable shot timing has been toned down for twenty four, so we changed the shot timing impact shooting attribute for the shot time is to what the fuck. Variable shot timing has been toned down for twenty four. Also, we changed the shot timing impact. Shot attribute to shot time and stability. Higher stability grades will further dampen the effects of fatigue slash defense on your shot speed. I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna have to just, I'm gonna have to look at that when I get in the jump shot um builder because I don't know. That don't really make too much sense. All right. Let's, um, let's watch this video right here. Damn, I ain't gonna lie. Baluba, but you got us um a whole lot of um info. Okay. Let's watch this right here. He said, I don't like the green dunk shit. No, D. No, D. If I have the green, if I have the green a jump shot, nigga, you have to green a dunk. No, that's not fair. That's not that's not fair to me. That's not fair to me who shoot threes. I don't dunk the ball. <laughs> I don't dunk the ball. If you're gonna dunk the ball all game, nigga, green that shit. Nah, that I love that. Yes. If you're gonna if you're gonna dunk the ball, green that shit. If I'm gonna shoot the ball, I gotta green it. So if you gotta dunk it, you gotta green it, nigga. It's it, it's only right. It it just makes sense. <laughs> it just makes sense. And honestly, and honestly, bro, that actually is tough because now that makes it skill in every aspect of the game. You have to have some level of skill to green a shot. Yes, it's easy to green shots. Yes, but that don't mean that is is just like brain dead, nigga. You said there's a higher chance of a dunk going in in the three. What are you talking about? Duh. Is if a wide open dunk, a wide open dunk, and a wide open three, but it depends. It depends on your ratings, though. If I have a 99-3, it's a higher chance of a three going in than an 80 some dunk. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, though, if you, because you're not going to dunk meter every dunk. Some dunks you're just going to put in the rim. But if you're going to use the dunk meter, nigga, and you want to get a contact dunk on me, no, but D, you don't have to green a dunk, dumbass, nigga. If you use the, if you use the meter, nigga, if you use a meter, you have to green it. So if you want to, so if you want to contact dunk on me. You have to green that contact dunk. That makes sense, bro. If I want to hit a contested shot on somebody, I have to green that shit. Not no, oh, I just, nigga, I've gotten contact dunks on late timing, bro. That don't even make sense, bro. <laughs> like, I done early dunks and I be punching on niggas. That don't make no sense. <laughs> that don't make no sense. Wow. Now you can set your desired release point based on whatever animation cue works best for you. This makes it much easier to play with players and teams you're not as familiar with. Advanced layups like floaters, reverses, euros, hop steps, and scoops are... Wait. So, 
okay. So like out of everybody jump shot in the league, I would say like I like J like Clay Thompson's Q the best, right? So like I could use Clay's Q like a fast like a Ray Allen like a release. Much more effective this year. And I'd encourage everyone to try out layup timing. It's much more forgiving for high percentage layups and also gives you the ability to finish tough. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna have fun creating content on this game, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm big. I'm putting a million VC day one, and I'm making a guard in a lockdown day one. I know I said I was just gonna make my lock, bro, and I was gonna play lock. I'm sorry, bro. I might play guard too. Like I might play like a little bit of both to start the year off. Like I was gonna make my guard like a little later. Nah, bro. I think I'm gonna make him early in the year, bro. Cause yeah, I see it now, bro. For dunkers in new gen, you can now force rim hangs from any two-hand dunk by simply keeping the sprint trigger held when the dunker grabs the rim. Down on the pro stick will give you flashy dunks, and up-down or down-up double throws will let you attempt contact dunks in traffic with the dunk meter. Meter dunks are green or miss on higher difficulty levels now, so you have to be precise to finish off the play. Bigs are going to have a lot of fun dominating in the paint in NBA 2K24. You can now branch out. He said, nah, make your guard. I'm be on lock shoving niggas. Bro, D, I ain't gonna lie. I think you're gonna have. I think this gonna be. I think this gonna be our game. He said, turn them up some. For sure, for sure, for sure. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it a buck, D. I think this gonna be a year. This gonna be. This might be the year for. This D, This might be the year for fucking. For us, bro, D. I ain't gonna lie. This the year for us, bro. <laughs> this the year for us, bro. Finally, look. Ah, I, 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 look. I don't want to get too hyped, bro. I don't want to get too hyped because I just have a feeling that the game is going to be perfect or like damn near perfect and niggas is going to complain, bro, because I'm going to keep it a beam, bro. I, not to call you out, bro, but look, niggas already complaining, bro, that, oh, it's no quick stop. Oh, it's no fade. It's no this. And niggas is kind of sounding like they scared. They can't get a bucket, bro. That's what it's starting. That's what it sound like a little bit, bro. Sound like niggas sound like niggas is and it sound like niggas can't get a bucket without an angle fade and shit like that. So it sounded like niggas is real scared and shit, bro. I'm not going to say nobody. You know what I'm saying? Look, you know who you are, bro. Look, I, I, I'll talk him the shit. But look, if the defense is what like, I don't want to get too hype, bro, but. 2K, you make you, you boy, you making a good ass case, boy. 2K like Melly lawyers, they making a good ass case, boy. They making me believe he gonna get out. Whole time he not getting out. Whole time 2K gonna be ass. We getting excited. His defense like that. I'm not playing if it's not changed. Dom, you ain't gotta play, bro. Look, look, I ain't gonna lie. I'm keeping it all the way up being with niggas, bro. I'm keeping it all the way up being. If you don't wanna play 2K24, do not play that shit, bro. Like I, I and I, I'm not even trying to be on your ass, bro. Do not come around me with none of that energy, bro. I'm telling. I'm telling this for everybody, bro. If you don't want to play this shit, do not come here telling me I'm not playing this shit. I'm not going to. I don't. Bro, I do not want that. Nowhere near me, bro, because I'm going to put 2,000 plus hours into this game, bro. <laughs> I'm going to play this bitch, bro. <laughs> I don't want to hear nobody talking about, oh, I'm not playing 24. 24 going to be ass, nigga. Keep that energy there, bro. I don't want none of that shit over here, bro. I promise to, bro, because I'm going to hawk this game, bro. <laughs> like I want this nigga. This game gonna change my life. This sound like it's gonna be the game for me, nigga. For the for the lockdowns, nigga. For the niggas that been staying down for these last couple years, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna count. But look, you said that's real. Don't no nigga in the NBA fade every possession, bro. D. Realistically speaking, bro. Kyrie do not come down the court, bro. Like yes, when he in the zone, he has Kyrie do to come down the court. You know what I'm saying? And be hitting the yes. When when Curry in the zone, he do come down and. You know what I'm saying? Harden do, he <laughs> he. Uh -uh. You know what I'm saying? Yes, bro. But realistically, not every play, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not every play niggas is fading, bro. Like, it's only when niggas in the zone. If you in the zone, okay, I get it. You you could be fading. You could side step, step back, all of that, bro. If you in the zone and you cooking my ass, you in takeover, all type of shit. For sure, you should be able to fade. But, bro, not every. The first possession of the game, niggas come out the gate. Everything about offense, left, defense, right, angle fade has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 make sense. more enjoyable for all. Come on, bro. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra okay. realistic gameplay. Okay, so Mike Wayne got his outro every game. You said we see, you said I gotta see gameplay. Nah, facts. Okay, look.
your 2K24 gameplay trailer. Pro play delivers authentic moves from real NBA film. Okay, so this is the actual trailer, bro. <laughs> I looked at all of this shit. I looked at all of this shit and didn't even look at the trailer. I'm going to look at the Corsair report after. So this is the actual gameplay trailer.